Hi there, Joka here, and today I'm sharing two parts with you that I created with the For That stem set. Um, all right, so I started out by die cutting these um, well, cut files that you can also purchase with the stem set in my shop as a bundle. And I wanted to create two different cards. One is one of one of the favorite uh, one of my favorite things to do is to create a pattern um, with different stems, either stems or um, die cuts like this. And you can wait, you can go so many different ways about it. It's really kind of fun. It's like creating your own. Uh, pattern paper so that's one of my ideas and the other one I wanted to do the same like a beer bouquet kind of um, card that I already did but then I did then I used masking um, and instead of that I wanted to just go ahead with die cuts also to create dimension and just so that it's a different um you know kind of card so i'm stamping uh, all these um images wheat beer uh, pretzel um and then i think there is sausage and i think that's about it so i'm stamping quite a few of each because i had no idea how many i will need i'm trying to show the colors that i used here um I think I might have forgotten some. Uh, I will try to write everything in the description box below. I'm not sure why, but some of my videos are completely foggy. I um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't clean the lens. I forgot. I don't know. I was um, doing videos uh, <laughs> for days, and maybe I just forgot I, I apologize i hope you can still see it um fine okay so some of these are layering sets so like the uh, beer bottle you will need a couple of layers well obviously you don't need but i did so i'm adding a label and then i'm also going to add the um beer text on it and there's also the the bottle cap at the top as well so that's the last step here and for that i'm just using a black ink and again i'm doing the same as in some of my previ previous videos uh, i'm just layering the uh, die cuts on top of each other without um gluing them down but you can see that they stamp pretty well even though I only stamped them once the images look um, fine so here they are already and now on to my first card I'm using um, a background for this um, card front here that I already did uh, for the release and I still haven't turned it into a card for this I use the um, the uh, tribal pattern background uh, stamp set here it is and I just embossed it in uh, Aztec glints that is from uh, wow embossing powder it was funny that the name matched perfectly <laughs> I mean the pattern and the name um, so I thought you know that's kind of like the color that I would use for beer so yeah uh, I decided to to use that, and because of uh, you know the the white edges of the die cuts, that creates a border, so the the images still pop off the busy pattern. So I'm I'm okay with that. Now I'm trying to figure out the arrangement. Um, I like placing these randomly, but I'm still trying to be mindful about colors you know that uh, not the same colors are um, next to each other not the same um, icons or images so yeah I, I mean as much as I like random I still kind of I'm, I'm mindful about it 
So now I'm uh, popping them up with foam tape and, um, you know, once the main design is there, I'm just going to um, trim off the excess. And, you know, I'm never worried that I don't have enough uh, die cuts because I know that a lot of them, uh, as you can see, are hanging off the page, basically. And those parts I can use, again, to fill up uh, spaces or, you know, but in this case here, I don't actually um, need a lot. Uh, I believe maybe I added some uh, sausage and a part of the wheat, I think. So, yeah, it's it's I, I always use these, um, you know, these trimmed off things as well. So when whenever I see a spot where you could add some more color or just a, a little something, something, then I add back some of these fall off uh, pieces and then then I throw away the rest. Um, yeah, and then basically this card is almost done. I'm not going to do um, anything else to it except um, adding the sentiment, which I, um, which I created in a previous video, so I'm not showing it here, but it's just white embossing powder on black cardstock. And this one, um, the sentiment, I believe, is from the It's Your Party set. I hope I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I, I don't think it's from uh, this same for dad set. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so this card is done. And now I'm going to move on to the next card. And for this one, I'm creating, well, it's not going to be an argyle pattern uh, completely. I'm only using the... Um, stitched part of the um, stamp set and I only need to stamp this twice like once here and then I move it up to continue the pattern and that's it so I didn't have to really build any pattern here but I, I just kind of wanted a discrete pattern in my background I didn't want to have just um, white um, background for this card. All right, so uh, next I'm stamping the bag, this paper bag here, and I'm using a dark blue um, ink for this. And then I need to stamp the hands, and this image is done. And then I'm I already stamped all the other uh, pieces that I will need for this card. Um. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to uh, layer these. I think I probably ended up with a very similar design than um, as on my previous mask card because it kind of made sense this way. I just wanted to add a lot of things to that paper bag. So I ended up, I think I ended up adding three of everything actually which was not my plan, it just worked out that way. So I will add some uh, foam tape to the paper bag so I can hide everything behind it. But before I do that, I am creating my card base. And for that, I'm just um, adding this panel onto a strip of um, heavyweight cardstock and then I'm, I'll trim it to size. This is what I always do. I kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm used to this and I don't even think about it when I start doing it. It's kind of second nature by now. So I bent up um, the top of these, um, the, the wheat, just to give it some dimension. And then I'm starting to glue down everything else. I just need to figure out uh, what I want in the foreground, what I want in the background. I want some color, you know, some different color to peek through. I like that orange with the um, 
dark blue. So yeah, I, I kind of like this color combination for men. Okay, and as you can see, I don't glue down the whole um, die cut, just the bottom of it, so that I, I still have some movement on the page, uh, some dimension, you know. So that's it. And once I filled my bag, I will um, glue down that bag as well. And then all I need is the sentiment which again I created earlier when I was um, working on some other cards. I think it's the, I, I really, I made so many videos that right now I just don't remember, but I think it was um, the, the four mom stamp set with the flower bouquet where I created several of these um, sentiments, but I really, I could be wrong. I feel like I'm um, creating videos on a, um, you know, like a, <laughs> no, I don't remember the name, uh, production line or something. Okay, so um, anyway, I'm adding some heavyweight cardstock to that sentiment just to make it uh, sturdier. And then foam tape, and that's it. It's all done. So yeah this is the second card i hope i could give you some idea how to use this stem set i think it's quite fun um i hope you uh, give these a try um tag me on social media so i can see all the uh, gorgeous work that you did with this thank you very much for watching i hope to see you next time bye bye